In this video, we're going to look at how you can create sync pops, otherwise known as two pops, inside Pro Tools. So here we have a Pro Tools session that already has the sync pop created. So let's take a look and see what this sounds like. So as you can hear, we have a little pop right at the start, a small delay, and then the cue starts. Now, the total time between the audible pop that you hear and the cue starting is exactly two seconds, which is exactly why the sync pop is also known as a two pop, referring to the two second delay before the cue starts. Sync pops are used by editors in order to sync up audio and video. This is achieved by providing the audio stream with a one kilohertz sine wave for one frame, two seconds before the cue starts. And for the video portion, we provide a color chart for one frame, which is also two seconds before the video starts. And as long as these two uh, sources are in sync together, then the video and audio from that point on should be completely in sync. So here we have a blank Pro Tools session. Now there's a few things we need to check before we get underway. And the first thing is to check what the frame rate is of the video source. So I'm going to open up the properties tab and I'm going to go to details. And here we can see the frame rate is 25 frames a second. So we need to make sure our Pro Tools session is also in 25 frames a second. To make sure Pro Tools is set up correctly, we need to go to the setup tab and then to session. Now we can see here the time code rate is already set at 25. So this is fine. This matches our source material. There's another thing here that we want to change though. And this is the session start. Currently it's set at zero hours, zero minutes, zero seconds, and zero frames. But if you remember earlier, our session started at 59 minutes and 58 seconds, giving us that two second lead in time before the queue started. So we need to change this to be 59 minutes and 58 seconds. Once that's done, hit enter. And now you can see our time code along the, uh, our timeline has now changed. So now that our session is set up correctly, we also need to make sure that our counter is set to time code. And we also wanna make sure nudge is set to time code in one frame. Now up above nudge, we have grid. Something that's really helpful is also to make sure this is on time code in one frame. And that's gonna help us later on when we make our sync pop. So at this point, I like to stick in two markers, one for the session start and one for the queue start. Now, in order to do this, I make sure that my playhead is at 59 minutes and 58 seconds, and I hit enter on the numerical keypad. And here I type in session start, hit enter, and then I just nudge myself along to the one hour queue, and also hit enter on the keypad and type in Q start. And this just provides us with two reference points while we create the sync pop. So now we want to create our sync pop. So we want to create a stereo track and then generate the one kilohertz tone on it. Now we need to select one frame. So I am going to zoom in to the first frame here. Now we can see I can select one frame. And earlier on, I spoke about the grid mode. So we can say, see because of our divisions that we have it set to one frame. So I'm simply going to select that one frame, go to audio suite, then go to other, and then go to signal generator. Now there's three things you want to check. And that is to make sure you are selected on sine wave, that you're set to 1000 Hertz and that the level is set to minus 20 decibels and then simply hit render. And this is now generated our 1k sync tone that we need. So now we want to import our video. So to do that, we go to file import video. We select our source material and hit open. Now we want to make sure location is set to spot and hit OK. This will bring up a second dialogue and we want to make sure the start is set at the one hour mark. And this will make sure that the video and audio start at the cue start. Now we hit OK. It imports the video. And if I select cue start here, we can say it starts right at the one hour mark. So here we have our session finished. We've created our sync pop and we have our video starting at the correct cue point. So if you have any questions or any messages, please leave them in the comments section and thanks for your time.